If you ever sat down and wondered what the most disturbing videos on YouTube look like, you probably found yourself falling down the rabbit hole of videos like Blank Room Soup, possibly in Michigan, and of course, the analog horror genre. Because a lot of the time, our curiosity for the macabre leads us down some pretty dark rabbit holes. However, I'm pretty certain that a lot of you haven't seen this one. Videos depicting a man experimenting on creating a new form of life. Now I first came across these videos back in like 2017, and on that night I watched every single one of them, and after I did, I promised myself that I would never look at them ever again. Because there is this new level of horror depicted in these videos that I'm not even sure that a lot of you will even want to see. Hey everyone, it's Wildman, I hope you are doing good, and honestly, I've been debating back and forth whether or not I even wanted to make this video, because I know it'll probably flop, and also, it's just so creepy that I've have been dreading going down this rabbit hole again. I watched these videos when I was like 15 and they really freaked me out back then. I even have this core memory from the time that I first watched them. I just remember being really sick. Like I don't think a YouTube video had ever made me feel physically sick before these. So before we get into it, be sure to check out the description of this video to check out all the disclaimers about topics that are going to be included in this video and whether or not you want to see those or not. But before we get into it, please do not forget to subscribe as well as like in the video and comment commenting bra do an extra big bra because i forgot to say comment bra last time so be sure to do that this time and yeah let's dive in здравствуйте сегодня мы поставим с вами эксперимент по созданию гомункула these videos originate from a russian channel called this which directly translates to how to make dot dot dot. The channel's name is pretty accurate because in all of these videos he's teaching you how to create your own homunculus and is documenting his own experiments and how those are going. A homunculus being a supposed microscopic but fully formed human being from which a fetus was formerly believed to develop. And in these videos the person is using alchemy to create artificial humans. Corny, the owner of the channel, is on a mission to create human life by get this it's pretty crazy injecting his own specimen into chicken eggs but regardless corny proceeds mentioning how he saw another youtuber create a fake homunculus and deceived his audience into thinking it was real so now he wants to prove that it actually is possible the rest of the 20 minute video is just corny expressing people's concerns about this experiment and saying that you know, it's still possible and the experiment will continue nonetheless. In the next video titled How to Make a Homunculus, Corny demonstrates to his viewers the process of fertilizing the egg artificially with a human specimen. And this whole segment is just pretty messed up and a little hard to watch, honestly. I mean, even seeing it now makes me want to gag. He mentions how you have to make a hole in the egg using a needle and then inserting the specimen through that hole. And without context, if you saw this, you probably wouldn't think it's a big deal, but knowing what he's trying to accomplish here just makes it so much worse. And after he does this, he tapes the egg up, seals it in a container, and puts it inside of a beanie to keep it warm. After 10 days, Corny removes the egg from its container and notes an infection on the outside of the egg, as well as an unpleasant smell emitting from it. And then Corny does perhaps the grossest thing imaginable. He cracks open the egg and we can see the monstrosity that he's created. Also timestamp here if you do have a sensitive stomach like I do, like when I saw this, like, it's so gross. Um, so timestamp here if you want to skip what's inside of the egg. Corny then picks through the yolk and pulls out the homunculus. It looks like it has the skin of a chicken, but one of the limbs is poking out that slightly resembles fingers or maybe even chicken toes. The creature is alive but lacks any highly developed intellect. Corny puts it back and says maybe we will repeat the experiment in the future. And after this video was first uploaded, Corny would go on to upload 20 more videos 
of just more experiments, each time creating a new homunculus. And in this next one, it gets so much worse, I couldn't believe it. Because just like last time, Corny uses the egg to crossbreed human specimen with the chicken egg. <laughs> Also something pretty important that I forgot to mention, which is even more gross, is that you could probably assume this already, but just to clarify, a corny is using his own specimen to perform these experiments, which is weird. Which pretty much means that in that last video, this is basically his child. Which really just adds another layer to how messed up this entire thing is. After 40 days, the second egg is ready to be opened, and this time it looks like we're in his kitchen. It's also pretty jarring seeing how nonchalant Corny is about the whole thing. I mean, he seems like it's just another day of the week. Corny opens the egg, and it's a lot more yellow this time around, and what he pulls out is this black parasite-looking creature. And then the creature begins to move. But then it spits something out at Corny, and he freaks out and crushes it with a book. What is left is a bloody pulp of Corny's biological child. And I think this is a good time to mention that these videos have been met with some pretty heavy speculation as to whether or not they're even real. I mean, the possibility of a person being able to create a whole new life form by simply injecting a chicken egg is pretty hard to believe. So a lot of viewers speculate that this entire thing is just fake, just videos created for the sake of virality. I mean, the videos did pretty well. I think the first video has like 3 million views. But there is that off chance that these videos are actually real actual documentations of crossbred human life being formed in a chicken egg. And in this next one, Corny takes it up a notch and we can see five eggs that are ready to be prepared. Then saying that he's going to be doing four batches of five, categorizing them into ones that have been left for 10 days, 20 days, 30 days, and 40 days. That the point of this is to see the development of the homunculus during these little time frames, and then seeing which time frame is best for development. After 40 days pass, he has his four batches. He's also wearing a hazmat suit this time, presumably because the homunculus in the last video spit at him with some, I'm assuming, toxic chemical waste. And so this time he's taken the precautions. But again, he's still doing this in his kitchen, so I'm not sure if that's a good idea either. Regardless, Courtney begins opening the eggs, starting with the 10-day eggs. they are all infected, oozing with this black substance combined with the yolk. There is nothing in the 10 day batch. Then he moves on to the 20 day batch and yet again there is nothing inside of them. Within the 30 day batch, still nothing and in the last container there are the 40 day old homunculi, yielding again the same result. And although in these ones he doesn't get any homunculi, he does say something that I thought was pretty creepy. Firstly saying that these were store-bought eggs and perhaps that was the reason that they weren't able to produce a homunculi. But after saying that, he brings up another theory. Corny saying that he believes that the reason the eggs didn't take is because there was something wrong with the specimen he put inside of it. Corny says that he didn't make these with love and was rushed doing so, so make of that what you will. In the fourth experiment, Corny ages an egg for 10 days and creates a homunculus similar to the one that spit acid at him. But luckily this time he doesn't kill it and instead puts it back inside of its container. The creature moving around while being held by its father is a pretty grim sight to look at. Some time passes and the homunculi from the previous video has grown quite a bit. Corny then saying that the homunculi began to lose moisture so he thought it'd be a good idea to put it inside of water. But then he starts mentioning that he doesn't know what to feed the homunculi, debating back and forth whether or not to feed it milk, blood, or more specimen. I'm not sure why he mentioned blood or even the specimen. I feel like milk would be the way to go. If not, 
I don't know, like vegetables or something. And then in this next one, we can see that the homunculus has grown only larger. Corn is saying that he settled on feeding it meat, but then notes that the homunculus has grown pretty motionless besides from the time where it needs to feed. And the rest of the videos kind of follow this pattern, the homunculi getting slightly larger in each video. Corny even going on to create more homunculi and seems to be getting the grasp on creating a consistent life form. But one of the weirdest instances of these documentations is where Corny tries to feed one of his homunculus a live fish. Because when he places the fish in the tank, after a couple of seconds, the fish is pushed back and faints seemingly out of nowhere. Opa. And when Cory tries to pick the fish up with some tweezers, he is shocked by the water. And from this context, it seems that the homunculus was able to generate some sort of an electrical current that killed the fish. And you know, after rewatching all of these videos again, it really does make me wonder whether or not any of these videos are even real. Also, after looking through some comments, I also found out that Corny has since passed since making these videos, which also leaves us with no answer. And perhaps we'll never get one, because no one really does have any concrete evidence as to whether or not any of these videos are real or fake. So it is pretty hard to say which side you do believe, because there is no proof proving either side. And although it is pretty easy to take the side that these videos are fake, I feel like there is that slight chance always that these videos were real. Real documentations of homunculi. Also, I recently started YouTube channel memberships. It's only $1.99, so check that out. You get early access to videos, as well as custom emojis. Also, a huge shout out to my ultimate tiers, Kpop Lover X3 and Night98. And yeah, thank you so much for spending some time with me. It's always super great. And uh, yeah, don't forget to comment to bra. And I'll see you in the next one. Love ya. Stay safe. Okay, bye. And what plays before you is an episode of The Amazing World of Gumball, but it's one you've never seen before, or even heard of for that matter. And what is shown on screen is Gumball standing in the corner in a state of anguish inside of the school.